How y'all doing? Donald back again with another video. This time I'm going to be showing you how to take a video or basically just multiple um, input streams and combine them into one input stream. Uh, so the reason you may need to do this is if for some reason you need to have your uh, video or audio in a container format that does not support uh, multiple instances of that same type of format. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head which ones don't do that, but uh, there are some that say don't support more than one audio track. And if you're like me and you do your recording, and in the case of my recordings, uh, I have two separate audio tracks. I have the audio track for the microphone and I have a separate audio track for the desktop audio whenever that happens. And I'm going to show you how you two different ways on how to combine them and the uh, uh, main disadvantage of one so far as I found and the main advantage of the other one. Uh, so stick around for that. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, drop me a like, subscribe, and share this video if you think it'll help anybody else. And with that, let me show you the goods. So we over here at my terminal and I made this little test recording before this um, of me just talking while I had something playing over Spotify in the background. And I'm going to show you that there are uh, two audio tracks in this video. So it's uh, this, it's a test, audio test, okay. So I'm just gonna let it play. And has two audio tracks, a microphone. now you will see in this video player that I use that it says that there are two different audio tracks. And by default, the one that's playing is the first one, which is my mic. So if we let it play, and the desktop audio, you only hear that. But now if I switch to this one, you'll hear the music. So what we want to do is we want to have it so that these two audio tracks become one audio track. Um, there's a fairly easy way to do this with FFmpeg. There is a fil There are two filters uh, for merging audio tracks. One's called a merge. That one's called a mix. Um, a merge is the simple one, um, as far as I've I've come to understand between the two of them. Uh, merge, you just pass in your streams, say how many there are, and does its thing. Uh, mix, you have more control. Uh, but I think uh, I have a, mix just has more control. So if you just have uh, just two audio track, two audio channels, they're basically the same length, same encoding and everything, you can just merge them and you'll be good. Um, but I will show you a downside to a merge here briefly. So we're gonna build the command right now that will uh, merge these two audio tracks into uh, one audio track. So I'm going to spit open my editor here. So what we're going to do here is, see, ffmpeg. Uh, we're going to pass in the input of, I think it was testaudio.mkv. Mkv, yeah, there you go. Um, and for this, I usually just like to do the filter, the complex filter graph syntax. I don't think you have to, but I just like to be uh, explicit with what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna do filter complex and start a new line. So I want to pass in the input of this video's two audio streams into a merge. So what's that look like? Well, if you've seen my other videos, you should be fairly similar with the filter graph syntax. We want the first input and we want the audio streams and we want the first audio stream. But we also want the second audio stream. So it's basically the same syntax, but we say one. And we're gonna say a merge, a merge, a merge. And a merge only accepts one input, which is the number of inputs. Um, by default, it's two. So I don't even actually have to put this here, but I'm just going to put it there for to show you the example. And that's all we have to do for this. Uh, so I'm gonna say for the video, just copy it over because we're not changing anything. Uh, for the audio codec, uh, I think it, I think I record in AAC, so we'll just keep it AAC. Uh, and let's see, for 
we're gonna map the the video stream out to the output file and we're gonna map the oh wait I forgot to do one thing we need to label this new filtered audio stream I'm gonna call it uh, out a that's what I forgot to do and then here we have to reference it to tell FFmpeg to write this stream out to the output and I'm gonna call it a uh, merged with a merge.mkv so we're gonna run this uh, Oh, it's, it's audio test, not test audio, you big dummy. Audio test, okay. yes, overwrite. So I'm going to show you this and you will hear both at the same time and you will notice that there is no longer two audio tracks, there is one. This recording has two audio tracks. The microphone so you notice you hear both now at the same time. And you also notice if we look at the player here, uh, that there is only one audio track. So there you go. We have merged successfully merged these tracks. Now I said a merge had a downside. What's the downside? The downside is if you're passing in, if you're combining multiple audio tracks and say one of them is shorter than the rest, it'll automatically have the new audio stream be the length of the shortest one which was probably may not be what you want sometimes. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to slightly modify this command. And I'm gonna pass in additional input here. The additional input that I'm gonna pass in is from, is the little sub animation that I use in my uh, video. So video, no oh, wait, yeah, it's music. I think it's, uh, crap, I forgot what this was called, hold on. Uh, music. Uh, oh wait, where is it? Where did I put the thing? Videos, sub animation dot move. Okay, so uh, videos sub dash animation dot move. I don't need this. Go away now. So what are we going to do here? We're also going to we're going to merge this one in as well. So we're going to say, let's see. Uh, so the second input, we want the first um, audio stream. Uh, if you're actually just getting the first audio stream, you don't even need to do this. You can just do this. And we need to tell it now that there are three inputs. And this will be the same. And I'm going to call this uh, merge with a merge with animation. Yeah, we'll call it that. And we're going to save this and I'm going to run it. So what should happen here, if I recall, if this behaves the way I believe it does is you'll hear the sound just quit five seconds in because the sub animation audio stream only was five seconds long, but the entire video and all the other, all the other audio was like 11 seconds. So it should just basically just die five seconds in. Merge with a merge with animation. We we'll let it play. Has two audio tracks. The microphone is all main. And yep, you could you could you could barely hear the sub animation because it's 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 kind of being drowned out by everything else. But you noticed after the sub animation sound ended, just pfft, the audio chan the audio track just just stopped, and. Uh, Probably that's not what you want. If you want to have more control over when the say when the channel when the whole audio track stops, you need to use a mix, not a merge. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So we're gonna I'm gonna open this back up. Uh, duh, duh. So a mix has a very similar uh, inputs. Um, it's not we're gonna use a mix now. It still has the same inputs parameter, but it has a couple of other parameters. Um, the main one being, I believe it's, uh, is it duration? I think it's duration. Oh, duration. I might need to look this up real fast. I forget. It's in my uh, finalized script. Local 
bin scripts finalize uh yeah, yeah. so we have a duration here i don't need this drop it okay Boy. uh so duration tells it how long to make the audio stream um there are three possible imp options here there's first longest and shortest uh first will make the duration of this new audio track the length of the first input. So in this case, it would make it the length of the microphone input, which I believe would also be the same as the uh, desktop audio stream at the same time. Um, there's longest, which as the name implies, will just look at all the inputs, see which one, ha see which one has the longest uh, duration and set the duration of the new stream to that and then shortest makes it basically behave the way a merge does so in this case we want the um we'll just say longest so longest and then there's um when i don't know if a merge does this but a mix does this thing where if you're merging in these all these multiple audio uh tracks um in order to prevent the the combined audio of all of them playing at the same time to avoid like clipping, it'll like uh, kind of adjust the audio level of all of them down equal to like the number of inputs. And when it does that, when one of them phases out, so in this case, when the sub animation is done, you'll notice there's a whoop, like a sudden bump up in the um, the volume of the other tracks, and you can control when this bump up happens with an option called, I believe it's called dropout transition. This will be a duration in seconds that the, that, um, the audio track waits before it readjusts the volume of the other tracks that are still playing. Uh, I, usually I just had this set to zero. So that means as soon as one of the audio tracks stops, you'll just in instantly hear everything kind of boop bump up like an extra level and there's another one that i use sometimes called um is it weight i think it's weight something like that and uh that lets you give more importance to certain audio tracks and others um i kind of use it to counter out the 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 volume level increase but it doesn't necessarily work the way I want it to, so I'm just gonna kind of ignore that one right now. Uh, so we have this set up. Uh, we're gonna call this uh, merge. We'll just call it merged with a a mix. Yeah, we'll call it that. And if we run this merge a mix, uh, yes, overwrite. So this one shouldn't end five seconds. And the only thing you should notice. Five seconds in, when the sub animation sound ends, is that you may notice like a slight bump up of the other volume. So let's 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 look. Listen. You will see that the audio did not drop out when the other one finished, and it was it was very slight, but there was a very slight increase in the other volumes. Uh, so there we go. If you needed to take multiple audio streams or just combine the tracks in one video together, this is how you would do it. If it's something simple where they're all the same length, you can just use a merge, boom, you're done. If you need to have a little more control over it, a mix is what you want to use. So just keep that in mind. A, a merge is simple, a mix uh, slightly more complicated. Uh, that's all I got for this video. If you liked it, if it helped you out, um, like, uh, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. If you think it helps someone else, uh, share it to them. If you are interested in all my other, other locations on the internets, it's, uh, I got links down there for Twitter and a Discord server you can join if you just want to come in there and shoot the shit. Um, if you would like to support the channel, which I would be very grateful for, I also have links down below as well. I also started making all of these little, some of these little scripts that I was writing for processing available um, 
in a Git repository that I have in GitLab, but that link is now down there below as well. And with that, uh, y'all come on back now and I'll see you next time.